hey everyone welcome back again to another flutter tutorial and in this season we will discuss about one of the popular firebase services known as firebase cloud messaging so firebase actually provides with plenty of services like authentication push notifications firebase cloud messaging firebase cloud storage and so on in our messaging is one of the popular services and in this video we will look into how to implement firebase in our messaging service in our flutter apps so before getting started with the coding part, let me just briefly explain what Firebase in our messaging service actually is. With the help of this Firebase service, we'll be able to broadcast any information or update news to our active users of the app. So it actually broadcasts some kind of data to all users who are currently using our app. And Firebase messaging can be categorized into two. One is Firebase uh, push notification and uh, secondly would be the in-app messaging firebase um, the first one would be the push notification which is more likely similar to the traditional way of notifying users about any event changes the same way which we get for all apps so by using the notification we will be alerting the users with some news or updates regarding the app and second category would be the in-app messaging so as the name suggests in app messaging the user will only be notified about the changes or they will be only able to view the content only when they open the app so only when the particular app is being opened they will be able to view the content which the uh, which we are trying to um, show okay so these are the two popular kinds of um, cloud messaging services that firebase provides and in this video we will be addressing the second one which is firebase in app messaging okay and let me just quickly show you a live demo of how it works so that you will get a better understanding of what we are about to discuss in the later part of the video and over here we have a simple counter app as an example that is the default counter app which we usually get okay and i haven't done anything on the coding side everything uh, which we need to do is done on the firebase so in firebase i have actually configured this app uh, to show some messages whenever the user opens this particular app for the first time so let me run this app uh, since I'm opening this app for the first time after being notified I'll be able to see this message over here okay so this is the message I actually want my users to be uh, notified about and they will be able to see this information as soon as they open their app okay and this is uh, one time view alone so once the user sees this you know, information they will no longer able to see this app information again upon opening the app so this is a one time one and i have a button over here which i click will take me to the url which i have configured in the firebase which is our official channel page url okay so i have just provided that url over there okay uh, now as i have actually seen this uh, message if i restart this app uh, i won't be able to see that message because i have already been notified about the changes so i will no longer get that message here in the app okay and speaking out on the firebase side you can see here under the firebase messaging i have one campaign created which is the firebase series campaign and it is active right now so here this is something which we need to configure on the firebase side so here i have actually provided certain details regarding the title and the body description something like that and the image what i need to have over here in the card and and the url which actually takes the user upon clicking this uh, primary button okay and this is something i have actually configured in the firebase side okay so this is all about um, implementing in our messaging services in our flutter app with the help of firebase hope you got a better understanding and with this idea let's move on to the coding part First, let us start by creating a flutter project with the help of the command flutter create and i'm going to name the project as firebase in app messaging uh, because we already have a package called firebase in app messaging in the pub.dev so you need in if you are going to use that package then that might be conflict if you keep the app name as firebase in app messaging alone so let me just add another word as app okay now we have actually created our flutter app and you can see here this is the basic counter app and we, we are not going to do anything on the coding side so let's just close this minded file 
as soon as you create the app the first thing which you need to do is to add two dependencies in your pub spec and the first dependency would be firebase core and the second dependency would be the firebase in app messaging okay so just make sure you add these two packages in your pubspec as soon as you create a project okay after adding these two packages um let's head over to the build or gradle which is inside the app folder and here in the build or gradle file we need to add two lines under the default config you need to add this line which is multidex enabled as true and the same way you need to add that inside the dependencies as well okay now after making these two changes inside the build or gradle we are okay with the changes on the project side now let us head over to the firebase and start creating a project over there here in the firebase let's start by creating the project by providing a name for our project which is firebase in a messaging and, and click continue and I don't want Google Analytics for this project so let me just disable this and create project okay now this is our firebase project and this is the dashboard which we have the targeting operating system would be the android in this case because uh, to configure the same firebase in app messaging for ios you need to have an active apple developer account which i don't possess right now so let me just focus on android part okay so i will just walk you by creating an android project in the firebase and you need to provide the android package name which you can get in the middle build or gradle file here under the android you have the app section and under that you have the build or gradle here you need to copy this application id over here and head over to firebase and just paste that you can optionally provide the app nickname on the ssj which is totally optional and let me just click register app and it will be providing us with the services.json file which we need to add inside the app level build or gradle file okay so let me download that okay let's head over to vs code here we need to add that inside the android um, android and app folder so just paste that over there so under the app folder we need to add the google services.json file okay now back to firebase hit next button and you need to add the firebase sdk uh, just by updating the builder gradle file under the project level builder gradle we need to add this line okay so under the project level builder gradle we have it over here and under the dependencies we need to add this line okay so just paste that and all of the things uh, we actually do have already so you can just check it out we have those changes being uh, reflected already inside the builder grid so let's skip this part and moving to the next one we inside the app level builder gradle we need to add this line okay so copy that under the app level builder gradle we need to add this plugin over here okay you need to change it as apply plugin okay after adding that the second would be under the dependency you need to add this line okay the dependency will be at the very bottom okay just paste that line over here with this um, we complete setting up uh, or we complete registering our flutter app inside our firebase so you can see that our android app is being registered inside this firebase project okay after we have created an android project in the firebase console let's move over in the sidebar and select all products this will list all services which the firebase provides including authentication cloud storage real-time database and so on 
and we need to scroll all the way down to see this cloud messaging card and just click that that is what we are discussing which is the firebase cloud messaging and let us start by creating campaign let's hit this button and you can see here it will ask for options to choose from we have two options one is the firebase notification message which as discussed earlier uh, the default push notification which the user gets upon pub, um, upon running the campaign and second would be the in-app message that is user will be able to see the content only when they open the app in this video we'll be addressing the second one so let's select that and click create here this is the uh, styling and content first we need to uh, design the card how the ui should appear for the users upon um, running the app okay we have uh, really four kinds of styles one is the card by default second would be the model third would be the image alone or if you want to have a banner kind of thing you can select that i'm okay with the card and you can just change the colors for the background as well as text uh, by default white and black would be the default one which is okay for me right now and under the message titles let me give the title as channel name and here in the body which is an optional one you can provide a brief description of what this uh, message is all about so let me give it as subscribe channel here we have the option to add images you can go forward by uploading your image from the device but for that you need to have a building account for now i am using the spark plan which is the free one in this case you can only provide the image url over here all right i have just provided the youtube image image url from the internet and moving down you, ne you need to configure the buttons you can provide the primary button uh, with the button text as the name what you want here i will be giving it as subscribe it should be something which is appropriate for this context and uh, moving below we have the button action that is the url uh, which would be which will take the user upon clicking this um, button over here by default it will just navigate back the user to the app itself but i want the user to navigate to the, my channel page upon clicking the subscribe button so let me give that so let me give the channel youtube channel url over here all right therefore whenever the button is being pressed i will direct the user to this url okay and if you want to have additional button you can click this and this will add another button over here which is a secondary button the same way you can change the button text the color and the url but i don't want this for now so let me click next and here you need to provide the campaign name let me give it as Little series which is YouTube tutorials which is actually optional one and under the eligible users um, uh, the app users will be eligible for this and you need to select the app since we have already created an Android app in the firebase it shows in the drop down you can just click that and if you want to localize the message then you can click this localize text button and you can just select the language of your choice but i am okay with english alone for now for this tutorial so let me click next and under this scheduling you need to choose either you need to show the message now or else at a specified uh, date time if you click this you need to provide the date time based upon that the message will be shown to all available users but for this tutorial, I need to show the message now and there. So let me click it now. And finally, you need to select the second option over here, which is display no more than one message every single day. Click done. And the last step is an optional one. So let us leave it and save it as draft. And you can just check it out and if you are okay with everything you can just hit the publish button well that's it we have now created a campaign 
that is the we have just designed the model pop-up which needs to be shown to user upon uh, opening the app okay so this is all what we need to do on the firebase side let's now move over to the vs code with this we complete the setup process now let's run the flutter app and see whether we are able to receive the message which we configured in the firebase And make sure you choose the Android emulator over here because we have actually configured the Firebase for the Android device. When we run the app for the first time, we are able to see the permission has been denied. So we need to set up the Google Cloud API for uh, making use of uh, Firebase um, app messaging. So let's copy this link and paste it and just enable the google api services for this app and here inside this firebase in messaging api let's hit the enable button okay now it's been enabled back to vs code Now let's start this app and also uninstall the app. Okay. Now as a fresh start, let's just uh, run this project again. This time we should be able to view the uh, model pop up from the Firebase. Yeah, so we got the message that is the pop-up which we have configured on the firebase side being viewed inside the app okay now let me click this subscribe button which should take us to the youtube channel page well now we are able to view the youtube channel page that is the url which you have provided during the firebase setup which actually works the same way which we have expected okay well that's it guys so this is how you can make use of Firebase in-app messaging services in your Flutter app to broadcast any news, information or updates to the active users who are currently using your app. Okay. Hope you guys find this tutorial useful. If you do so, consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Bye.